Such an incredibly radiant light, Chesley Chris was as a correspondent for Extra Television, as a former Miss USA, a top 10 finisher in the Miss Universe pageant, and an attorney as well, dead from an apparent suicide found outside of her apartment building on 42nd Street on Sunday morning. A statement from her family confirming her death. They said that in devastation and great sorrow, we share the passing of our beloved Chesley. Her great light was one that inspired others around the world with her beauty and strength. She had put a final post up on Instagram just hours before her death on Sunday morning, which may have been somewhat of a window into her mindset saying, may this day bring you rest and peace. She's 30, year old, 30 years old, winner of the Miss USA pageant, worked with the Miss Universe pageant as well as being a top 10 finisher and entertainment correspondent for Extra. She also earned her MBA from Wake Forest, and she was an attorney who had practiced law in North Carolina. Her family also going on to say that she whether she was working as an attorney fighting for social justice, as Miss USA, as a host on Extra, but most importantly, she'll be remembered as a daughter, sister, friend, mentor, and colleague. They know that her impact will live on. Just an incredible amount of outpouring of love for her. Extra also releasing a statement saying she was not just a vital part of our show, she was a beloved part of our extra family and touched the entire staff. Our deepest condolences to all her family and friends. According to some media reports, she may have left a note behind addressing that she wanted her belongings to go to her mother. If you or anyone you know is struggling with mental health issues, you can always get help. There is a prevention hotline, 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255. The Walking Dead star Moses J. Mosley has died. The 31-year-old passed away in Stockbridge, Georgia last Wednesday, according to TMZ. His reps confirmed the news, saying that the cause of his death is still under investigation, and adding, Moses was loved by so many. He always had a smile on his face and the most positive attitude. Moses was very close to his family, especially his sister Taria, and shared with her his goals for his future. We are extremely saddened about the loss of Moses. He was a beautiful person with a heart of gold and an extremely talented actor. Anyone who knew Moses was truly blessed to have him in their lives. The young actor is best known for his role as Mike, one of Michonne's pet zombies on The Walking Dead. He appeared in six episodes of the hit series. We are in Peachtree City. We have to go down in the woods. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have eyeballs on or not. Doing a little final touches before we uh, throw them out for the camera. Got to uh, keep them fresh. Yeah, the visual uh, on these guys is not very great. The sight is very minimal. <laughs> very minimal. He also had roles in Watchmen, The Hunger Games Catching Fire, and Queen of the South, among others. When news of his death broke, AMC released a statement saying, Our thoughts and prayers are with our hashtag TWD family member Moses J. Mosley. His The Walking Dead family paid tribute to the late actor on social media, sharing heartfelt memories of their co-star. Jeremy Palco, who played Andy on the show, shared a photo with Moses and tweeted, Heartbroken to hear of the passing of at Moses Mosley. Just an absolute kind and wonderful human being. You will be missed, my friend. Hashtag TWD family. Melissa Cohen, who portrayed the bicycle girl on the hit series, also shared her love, saying, Oh God, this is just breaking my heart. Moses J. Mosley, you were truly one of a kind and a class act. Always nice, funny, and a smile to like any Maryland town has died by suicide. Hi, my name is Kevin Ward. I am the newly elected mayor of the city of Hyattsville. Kevin Ward was elected mayor of Hyattsville, Maryland in May 2021 after serving two terms on the Washington, D.C. commuter town's city council. In campaign materials, Mayor Ward called himself straightforward and equally apt to listen to Stevie Nicks as Megan Thee Stallion. He said, I believe that if I can help someone, then I can change her or his life. United States Park Police found Mayor Ward's body in Virginia's Fort Marcy Park, about 20 miles away from Hyattsville. The city says he died January 25th from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. The governor of Maryland, Larry Hogan, expressed his condolences via Twitter. 
Mayor Ward leaves behind a husband and two sons. Kevin Ward was 44 years old. If you or someone you know is in need of help, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 800 273 The southeastern community of Huntingdale is still coming to terms with the shocking events that unfolded on Friday, with two innocent children killed by their father in a double murder-suicide. Their deaths have sparked calls for improved mental health services for multicultural community groups, and we warn you may find some details in this report distressing. Two bright young children who had their whole lives ahead of them. Four-year-old Lily and six-year-old Cohen. I'm hanging out with my favourite little man. The pair found dead inside their father's Huntingdale home on Friday. It's believed Indika Gunathalaka killed them before taking his own life. Heard nothing. Um, wish I did. Could have helped, hopefully, to prevent a tragic incident. The children's father, two days ago, he came across the park, I gave him a wave and he would give me a wave back. The quiet street is still an active crime scene. Police pitching in to help neighbours set up a memorial on the family's front lawn. Just whipped in, in the shed, we got a few sticks, nailed them together, we took a few nails down and put it on the tree. The 40-year-old father made numerous posts online about his children, even creating a music video dedicated to his young daughter. He'd recently separated from the children's mother, revealing his battles with depression on social media. Because the unpleasant sign of, sign of mental health issues or even depression or any, any other mental health issue is not only does it affect you, it affects the people around you. As WA comes to terms with this tragedy, it's prompted calls for more mental health support funding, particularly counselling services that cater to a broad range of ethnic communities.